Hello everybody. Today we will discuss how we create a Shiny application in R Studio. If we want to work with the Shiny package, we have to install Shiny package with the help of install.packages command. Now as I have already installed the Shiny package, you can write install.packages on our console if you want to install the same package. Now let's create Shiny web application in R Studio. Now every Shiny application has the same structure that is two R scripts saved together in a directory at a minimum a shiny app has ui.r and server.r files now first you have to click on the file menu in the r studio and you have to choose the new project now it will pop up a window to create a new project that is showing a window to select a workspace we are having three options that is new directory existing directory and version control now in new directory it will start a project in new directory and we have existing directory option. It will associate the project with existing directory and at last we have the version control option. If we select this option, it will check out a project from a version control repository. At this point, we are selecting a new directory option. Now it has redirected to new window to select the project type. Our aim is to create a shiny web application. Now we have selected shiny web application. Now in order to create shiny application, we have to define the destination location and directory name. Let's say the name of the directory is shiny and the working directory is D, local disk D. Now let's create a project. Now let's click on the create project option. Now it will create a project and it has two files now that is ui.r and server.r. Now these two files contains a code that will help to run the shiny application. Now these file comes by default with shiny package. As you can see there is an option to run the shiny application and later on we will be discussing the code which the file contains. Now let me run the application. Now as you can see the current focus has been moved to new window that is opened by shiny web framework. Now let's talk about what shiny window contains. Now it is showing one histogram and sidebar in the left side of the histogram. Now this is default application. Now when we increase the number of bins by moving the slider in the right side, change will be made in the histogram. So bins in the histogram depends on the slider position. Now if we set the slider at a particular location, say 6, so it will create 6 bins in the histogram. And as you can see, it is showing old faithful geezer data. This is title name which we have defined in the ui.r file. So this was all about how to create new shiny application in R Studio. And in next videos, we will be discussing how to create and update existing ui.r and server.r files.